In this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to render an image um, in Photoshop. Um, now, I'm not going to be going over all the ways you can render an image. I'm just going over how to render an image using the pen tool today. Um, I might make another tutor tutorial later on on how to render an image using, and I'll show you all the tools you can use in Photoshop. Um, but this is just a quick little tutorial on how to render an image just using the pen tool. Um, so here I have my image opened up, and what I want to do is cut out the this person, the demo man in this image, um, so I can use it in whatever, you know, a signature or whatever I want to use this in. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom in a little, um, and I'm going to grab my pen tool, which is right here. It looks like a little, well, it looks like a pen. Um, and I'm going to click once where I want to start. Now, um, so pretty much the pen tool, it just makes a little path around your image or whatever. So what you want to do is follow the lines that, you know, follow your render. So I'm going to click again over here and I'm going to click and drag, make it like this, um, and like that. But now see the problem is if I go over here to, oh, well, that works, but um, if I want to go over here, as you can tell, the line kind of went kind of weird. Um, and it automatically curved, and I don't really want this, so I'm going to be I'm going to press Alt on my keyboard, and then um, scroll over this little node thing, this little uh, square, and your icon should change. Um, the pen tool icon should go from this to a pen tool icon with a little upside down rotated V, and then now that you have that, click on that little square, and one of the little lines should go away. So now you can click wherever you want without the little um, without it automatically curving for you so if you make a nice little curve right here you can and if you want to go over here it will automatically curve so you can just press alt and click on that square and then move on and then you can use that to render your image um, so yeah, that's how you could use the pen tool to render an image. I hope this was, um, this wasn't too in-depth, just a little quick tutorial, because um, I'm going to be making tutorials in the future, which you might need to use the pen tool for, and I didn't really, so yeah, just a little quick tutorial.